hit at stores, restaurants, prices rising yeah. for everything from bacon to chicken wings. The economists say it's because a lot of the food and goods that we are accustomed to buying are in short supply. Prices up over 50% in some places. Restaurants and grocery stores in particular feeling that pinch. News News Force Tucker joins us live from Town Center in Mount Pleasant. And Force, why are these costs going up like they are across the country? Yeah, Brennan and Carolyn, restaurants here in Charleston are being put in a tight spot by these shortages. And some days they might not even get the food they need to cook for their customers because of delivery driver shortages. I think a big part of the problem is explaining it to customers. It's a conversation that Andrea Parco and the staff at the Mustard Seed have had many times lately. Some key food items on their menu aren't able to be delivered. Shrimp, crab, scallops, and ground beef coming at a high price and sometimes not at all. For example, crab cakes. And we can't get crab because it's so expensive and it's hard to get our hands on. And nobody wants to think about that. An economic expert tells me that another problem for the restaurant business is not having enough people to staff shifts. And then anyone who's gone out to eat in the last <laughs> three or four months knows that there's uh, terrible shortages of uh, workers in uh, the service areas and um, those prices will rise. And the mustard seed has had to wait on deliveries of key ingredients. Driver shortages causing the staff to feel anxious. For example, we're, we might wait all day for uh, our special, our fish to come in, or special deliveries that usually come in Monday morning or in the morning, and then they don't come in until after dinner. Hyde also told me that we could be seeing these shortages and price hikes for a while. Reporting live in Mount Pleasant, I'm Forrest Tucker. Count on two.